Merrimack special election without a mask. And he's telling us that, and you know, it's a group of people not wearing masks. He's telling us we got to wear masks all the time. Then he's getting his vaccine and he's wearing a mask in the car while he's getting his vaccine. And then, you know, he's posting pictures of himself. You know, he's the cookie man, you know, the cookie. And I'm just sick of this guy. Like, He's, he's, he's a, he is a horrible rhino he's and he corrupt. needs he needs to move to Massachusetts. He needs to go to jail. Yeah, he needs to go to jail. You know, every time I see a picture of him without a mask on with his arm around someone, you know, or shaking someone's hand, I I have to comment. That's I, it's the only thing I comment, the only political figure I comment on. I'm like, you know, where's your damn mask, you you hypocrite? To you know telling us, you know, all of these rules that we need to abide by and here you are uh with with one of your one of, one of your cohorts Without your mask, but we have to. What what is up with that, man? Do you even really believe in all of this, or are you just playing the game? And that's what yeah, it, that's what it boils I'm... down to. It, like Arya said earlier, it's, it's a power grab. This man is getting off on it. I think there's I think there's yeah. I think there's monetary gain too that we might not hear about know about. I think the vaccine company moving to New Hampshire is one of them, but a lot of it is. I think he's getting off on it. Oh, of course he is. I mean, he's a politician, and they get off on power. One of the things I liked to do back when I was allowed to use Twitter was repeatedly, Chris Sununu is the only political figure I ever bothered to tweet at, mm -hmm. but I would just consistently call him a fag. <laughs> I didn't know this. Yes, just uh, everything he'd post, I'd reply, and some way in that tweet, I would call him a fag. And, and, the, and the post stayed up or they would immediately get deleted? They stayed up for a very long time, but I did recently receive an email saying that I was blocked from Twitter, so they but, got... They had, they had had enough. They finally caught up with you. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I can't get on Twitter to find out if I'm, you know, if it was a temporary ban or what, and I don't really care anyway. But He's a horrible, slimy piece of filth. He's yes. just a horrible guy. And he's there, and he... And we he call him. Oh, and before anyone on Twitch or DLive or whatever gets upset, it's okay. I can say fag. I'm trans. There you go. See, get your card. Where's your card at? I don't have a card. You don't carry your card? <laughs> you don't even, do you have a card, or you just forgot I it? I don't have a card. All right, you just... It's the hair. It's yes. Yeah, sure. That's it. Let's All go right. with that. No one's going to question you. I'm just being silly. But Sununu is absolutely a horrible human being. Uh, he's getting off on this. I mean, he's such he's so despicable that he's got people convinced that the the free staters here in New Hampshire have made threats against him and his family, and that's absolute nonsense. I've been to some of these events. The only people at any of these events who have ever made threats. Where are the police? The people escorting you off of the side of his property. The, yes. The, 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 the boundary of well, his property. His corrupt, his corrupt brothers got to go get the uh, town to, you know, say that people can't do protesting. I mean, the guy's just corrupt, plain and simple. He's from a corrupt political family. His dad was corrupt. He got fired, you know, as White House chief of staff for being corrupt. Like father, like son. He's corrupt. Yep. And I think, and I think his next move is the Senate. Or is it? Congress, which which because he's gonna he's he he's on his way out, but he wants to move up the ladder. Are you are you? I think Senate is likeliest for him. And who knows who will get next? It's probably uh, someone a new warlord. Probably a leftist, Chris Pappas, probably a new warlord. I don't know. Thank you so much for the call tonight, Gary. Uh, some of these things that Sununu has done are definitely questionable, but the Free State Project has been successful with some things. Now, obviously, the allegation that, you know, armed protesters, there were armed protesters. There was an armed protest at Sununu's property. No one made any threats. Having a gun is not making a threat. You don't even need a permit in New Hampshire You, you could you, to, to, to conceal. You don't need it. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, that was, I, I think, five years ago when I moved here, there was, that was one of the, uh, you had to get permission from the, the chief of police that has since been removed, and I do believe that was a uh, probably some free state uh, 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 pushing on legislation at the at the time that got that uh, taken taken care of. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone's armed, but no, they they will they will say it like we went there with rifles, uh, wanting to lay siege on that man's property. That's ridiculous. And yes, you're correct. The only people who were armed, the only people who were acting violent, the only terrorists at those events were the people, the government goons who were escorting you away and putting up what, blockading you and whatnot and saying never come back or we're going to basically throw you, take, take you prisoner, throw you in jail and uh, throw away the key. And they did take people prisoner and throw them in jail. But people on Reddit are freaking out about the Free State Project. Uh, today, the House passes one of the most extreme budgets in our history. 
Free staters now run the Republican Party and have pushed the free state agenda of dismantling all government. Oh, no. I wish this oh, person no. was correct. Yes, I do, too. This this person has. the, But yes, if the if what this was, if all this was true, we don't debunk any of this. I would just love all these accusations. But uh, yeah, no, well, no, I wouldn't love them all. You have a couple libertarians running as Republicans. Yeah. Well, because what else would they run as Democrats? Because then you'd be mad at that as well. They're going to run as libertarians? No, they're not going to get elected, period. What do you, so what, what else, what's the other option? Enormous cuts to education, enormous cuts to D DHHS, bills to stop distributing menstrual product, products to girls, bills to prevent sexual harassment training, bills to control racial bias training, bills to prevent even discussing gun safety, bills to cut all taxes, bills to prevent states of emergency, and mask-wearing mandates. I'm okay with all of those. But, but even though, okay even, even though they've all been blown out of proportion. I'm not okay with a bill to prevent sexual harassment training. If someone was to pay the money to have that happen, I'm okay with it. I, if, there, there are better ways to supply menstrual products to girls than using the government, for example. All, all of these things need to be provided by uh, the individuals and uh, whatever organizations they're a part of. And I'm, it, it, I don't need to. Why, sh why should I be paying for any of this? Even gun safety class, which I kind of agree with, as long as it's pro gun safety classes. But I still don't, I don't want to pay for that either. Yeah, I'm also not okay with a bill to prevent discussing gun safety. But this person, you got to remember, is hysterical. Very little of this is actually true. 603-283-6160. More about the Free State Project coming up.